Hey everyone, in this video, we are going to see some of the basic features of Dendron. For the background, Dendron is a local first markdown based hierarchical note taking tool. It is meant to help you organize, manage, publish and collaborate on knowledge bases of any size. So before we start with the demo, let's take a look at the user interface of Dendron. So the first view is the editor view. So where you can write and edit your notes. Notes in Dendron are markdown files. Example, this is md.md file. Then the second uh, interface is the preview that you see on the right. So it shows the rendered markdown of your currently open note. If you close this pane, you can bring back it by using the show preview command or using the show preview icon right over here. Then Dendron has its own sidebar in the VS Code activity bar. So all the Dendron related views are shown up in their own view container in, in this sidebar. So first of all, let's see the calendar view. So the calendar view that shows up here, it shows days where you have created a you know journal entry. So if no journal entry exists for a even for a given day, clicking on a date in the calendar will automatically create it. So if, would, if I would like to create a daily journal for today, so I can find it here. This is a already applied template, which the way I organize my daily journals, we are going to see about it in later in this video when we talk about the schemas and the, and the templates. Next to the calendar view, there is a tree view pane, which shows the hierarchical view of your notes. It is uh, similar to how the folder structure uh, would appear in your file system. So you can click here to navigate to your notes. So if I want to go to dev and then lib or, you know, something else. So you can use this as a navigator. Uh, next to that, we have a uh, backlinks panel. So backlinks panel actually shows you the list of other notes that have links to the current note open in the editor preview. So if I have, if I open a note, so this Python note, so the root note has a link to Python. So if you open it, you can see that you have, you know, like that Python here in the root note, which actually reference to this particular note. So this is where the backlinks come into place. Then we have a graph panel. The graph panel shows you how your notes are linked and what are the hierarchies of it, how they are, how many children are there of this particular node and who is the parent of this node. So it helps you visualize the, the structure of your whole workspace and your whole knowledge management system. This is a graph panel which shows you the nodes that surround the active node. There is also a, there's also a full node graph that shows you the state of your whole workspace. You can, run the show node graph command that would you know show you your entire workspace so here you see and you can click on any of the nodes to navigate from one node to another so this helps you both in navigation and visualization next to the graph panel we have tip of the day here we you know show some of the tips that Dendron has for the users so you can see what and all things are new to Dendron or helps you get started. Other than that, we have help and feedback panel that has a bunch of links for you to get help if you're stuck somewhere or wanted to see some documentation or want to see FAQ or report an issue. If you, if you see any bug while using Dendron, if you'd like to report it right away, you can, you know, report an issue or review other issues that already in a uh, let are already there in Dendron. So this is all about the UI interface of Dendron. Let's talk about, you know, taking notes. How do we take note in Dendron? So you can interact with Dendron using the lookup bar. So we use the lookup bar for both finding notes and creating notes. So, so you can use the very simple command that is control L for Windows or command L for uh, other 
other operating system so i can use if i want to create a new node suppose i want to say test dot today so i can create a node uh, using this command using the lookup bar i can also use it to search other nodes for example i want to see uh, something about the python language so i can you know go ahead and look for what are the topics of python or we can see uh but and all other things we have so this is also a way to you know search all the notes in your in your workspace you can use something to search for you know js or how do we represent boolean in js or anything that you have in your workspace so uh if you see each of these notes that we have in trendron has a front matter above it which is you know enclosed with these lines this is a yaml front matter that that are custom attributes at top of each markdown file uh, in dendron this is auto generated and when a note is created and these are used to store metadata about each note so if you create a new note say test dot tomorrow so you can see that this metadata auto automatically attaches itself to a dendron note now let, let's talk about something uh, how do about linking your notes from one note to another so so in markdown we have we link from one note to another using something special which is called wiki links wiki links are the links between notes so so if this is a note called markdown.links you can link another note hello using the square brackets and write the name of the note so you can you know view this note from here using the hover you can go to that note using control click this is how you link from one note to another and once you go to the note you can see the backlinks panel to see that md.links actually has a link to this note so this is how backlinks help you to see how you are connected from one note to another now other than links markdown that we use is github flavored markdown so it helps you write uh, various you know uh, diagrams or something which you want to show in web so markdown helps you to create them using certain syntax like you can write maths in mark markdown so if you see the preview you can actually write maths as simple as this way and it would render uh, in a very nice way so this is how you can write maths or if you want to you know write certain diagrams you can see uh this is how we write mermaid diagrams in markdown and if you see the dendron show preview they would actually show you in a in a diagram form other than that this is something which is uh very native to dendron these are called uh note refs so note references is something unique uh that could enter in which we call we call them node references and what node references is is lets it lets you to do in say it lets you embed it notes into other notes so so you can embed either a full note or a spec or you know a header inside it so if you want to see the contents of hello inside this note md dot note ref you can use a syntax of note ref that is a wikilink syntax uh, that has a prefix of exclamation mark so it will render it in a very pretty form and will show you all the contents of hello inside this note you can see the this is uh, the reference for a mission and then you can link one note to another this way as well now let's talk something about hierarchies that dendron has so dendron organizes your notes into hierarchies these are dot delimited markdown files so if you see each of our notes has a dot delimiter this is something called md dot note ref if you see for say js so you see there is language dot js and then each note has you know language dot js dot d dot boolean so this is a hierarchy format that dendron uses to create notes so dendron has flexible hierarchies they provide a structure for your notes 
but these structures can be easily changed. So like in programming, developers can refactor a code and change its structure. And the IDE will make sure that all the references pointing to that original nodes are also updated. So in Dendron, you can refactor nodes and hierarchies and Dendron will make sure that your PKM is consistent throughout. So for say, if I want to change this md.notref into, or say, let's just change. We have a language called or say Ruby. So I want to change. I decided that this language is no more Ruby. I want to call it, you know, Sapphire or something. So I can use the refactor hierarchy command and I can change language.ruby to something called language.sapphire for say. And it will change all of your notes. And now each note is, you know, very consistent. So if you see language sapphire yeah you can find this now here uh, now let's talk about the schema so schema can help you manage your notes especially as you collect more of them so schema at the end of the day help you construct consistent hierarchies for your notes and they provide features like templating and autocomplete and much more than that. Let's see a demo for that. For say, I have a daily schema. So this is the schema that is that is how I create my daily notes. So if I want to create a note which has you know daily journal and then the date hierarchy. So I want all of my daily journal notes to have this hierarchy, and each daily journal should follow this particular template. So if you see templates dot daily this is the template that is used uh, when i created my daily journal so if you go back to the calendar view you can see if i click on five this node actually has a predefined template which i manage through my daily schema so this is all about a brief interview a brief overview of dendron you can Go ahead and check it out in GitHub and, you know, try with have the getting stuck, get started guide. It has all the uh, tutorials for you to start and manage your notes much more efficiently. Thank you.